Cruise vacations are different than land vacations and hotel stays. In fact, many cruise passengers say that they like to feel settled in, which is why they bring certain comforts of home. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I do have to warn you, if you're planning to pack carry-on only or you are very minimalist, then this video probably isn't for you. And especially if you are triggered by anybody who is bringing anything more than the bare essentials, well, perhaps skip this video and I'll see you in the next one. However, a lot of people do say when they go on a cruise, they like to bring certain comforts of home to help them feel comfy and cozy. And some of these things are pretty practical as well. Now, something that I have noticed in the cruise community is some people bring some really unique items. So what I did is I asked in the Life While Cruise Facebook community, what are the comforts of home that you enjoy bringing on a cruise? I got some incredible answers and great ideas and we're gonna share them with you in this video. Now, before I get started, I wanted to mention two things. Firstly, if you bring a comfort of home that I have not mentioned in this video, please let me know down in the comments below. And secondly, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, slippers. Now, I think a lot of people do like to travel with slippers, but in particular on cruises, many people say that it really just helps them to feel comfy and cozy when they are in their cabin at nighttime or in the morning. And at the same time, for sanitary reasons, in terms of the carpet, they prefer to wear slippers than to walk bare feet. Now, some people point out that years ago, cruise lines used to give out slippers along with the bathrobes. However, it seems like in recent years, that has gone away, at least on many different cruise lines. Now, something that does go hand in hand with the slippers is the bathrobe. Now, many people do get bathrobes when they go on a cruise because it may be provided with your loyalty level, or you might be on a cruise line that does provide them. However, if they are not provided, many people say that they love to bring a bathrobe on a cruise. Number two, hand soap. Now, of course, hand soap is provided just like shampoo is usually provided on a cruise, but many people say that they really like to bring their own hand soap, or in some cases, there might be bar soap, and they really don't want to use the bar soap. Some people even said they don't wanna smell like everybody else on the cruise, so they do bring their own shower gel and soap as well. Now, a lot of people seem to love the Bath & Body Works foaming hand wash, and if they use it at home, they like to bring it on a cruise. Number three, this one might make you just say, aw, people bring pictures of their pets, of their children, of their grandchildren. Some people say that they like to bring a Polaroid and then they put it onto the wall with one of those magnet clips. Other people bring photos of their loved ones in frames to put on the desk or the dresser. And some people purchase the magnetic frames that you can put straight on your wall. Now, I definitely thought that this was really sweet and a nice way to bring your loved ones with you. Please let me know if you've ever done this before or considered it. Please let me know down in the comments below. Number four, now this is a really practical one to bring, but I can definitely see why. So it is tea bags. Now, different people had different tea bags that they were bringing. So sometimes it was flavored teas, their favorites. Other times it was just the Tetley Orange Pico, which they said are the ones that are always going the fastest. And then the flavored fruity ones are always the ones left over. Now, not everybody drinks tea and what some people bring for their coffee is coffee creamers or the other flavored creamers. Some people like to bring these and it really is a little bit even of a money saving hack because you don't need to buy sometimes the specialty coffee. Instead, you can take the included cruise ship coffee and you can add your flavored creamer and you can make it your very own flavored coffee. Number five, bedding. Now, before you think that people are bringing their entire bed linen, most people are not, although some are, but the most popular type of bedding to bring was your own pillow. So it could be a travel pillow or your own pillow from home. I think a lot of people really like to do that when they travel and sometimes they will do that when they're on a cruise as well. But in addition to the pillow, there are a lot of people that actually will bring their own sheets or at least their own pillowcases. Now, in particular, the silk pillowcase, which people say is really good for your hair. Now, one that I never thought of before was bringing a small throw. And of course, you can use this when you're flying or when you're driving, you can have a little travel blanket. But what people said they like to do with that is use that little blanket or that throw for naps during the day, or if they are going out onto their balcony in the evening time and it's a little bit cool, then they have a little blanket or even if they go and watch a movie outside on the pool deck it gets a little bit cool and they bring their travel throw to use up there. Now I also have an honorable mention for the stuffed animal 
animals? Yes, there are people who love to travel with their stuffed animals as well. Now, although there are some really unique things that some people bring, the last one in particular is the most unique one I've ever seen or heard of. However, there are some that are pretty practical as well. So what some people like to bring, and I'd say a lot of people like to bring this, it is a refillable water bottle. So ideally even one of those that is insulated and as well to have a travel coffee mug. And if you're a coffee lover and you love a big cup of coffee to bring along with you, I know I like that in the morning time, then you should definitely consider bringing this. Number seven, air freshener. Now I know in other videos, I oftentimes do talk about poopery, which is that bathroom spray, but a lot of people say they like to bring air freshener for their cabin for obvious reasons as well. Popular tech items. Now, when I asked cruisers, what are the comforts of home you really like to bring? I really wasn't thinking about tech items, but a lot of people were. So the most popular items that people said really did bring them comfort and convenience was an iPad. And in particular, to download some movies to watch in the evening time, a Kindle with downloaded books to read, a small fan and or a white noise machine. In particular, if you're in an inside cabin and you like to hear the ocean waves, you can set that white noise machine to that sound. A Bluetooth speaker to use in your cabin, a good quality travel hair dryer, and cards with an electric shuffler. Now I do have an honorable mention for a CPAP. However, I really do think that that's more of a necessity than comfort of home, but a lot of people do bring this of course on a cruise. Number nine, certain items of clothing. And in particular, it's items of clothing that will keep you warm. Now on Caribbean cruises or Bahamas cruises, a lot of people think it's going to be hot all the time. So people sometimes forget to bring either a jacket or a sweatshirt or a sweater or a hoodie. And this is something that quite a lot of people said that was a mistake because they ended up having to buy these things in the gift shop on the cruise because sometimes in the evening time or even in the cruise ports of call, it really can be cool. So a comfort of home is to bring a good quality comfy sweatshirt. Number 10, now I really do think that this is the most unique comfort of home that I've ever heard of or ever seen, but you let me know what you think. It is an inflatable green alien that you can dress up in different clothing and you can place that green alien around the cruise ship. Now, one of the members of the Lifewell Cruise Facebook community did share their green alien that they do dress up even for formal night. It really is just a lot of fun. I know some people bring something like a gnome on a cruise ship and other people might bring a stuffed animal that they might dress up on a cruise ship, but I think that this is definitely a lot of fun. Now, please let me know if you bring any comforts of home on a cruise, whether they are practical ones or whether they're just things that are a little bit more fun and unique. Please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I know this was a little bit of a lighthearted video, so I hope you enjoyed it and found it fun. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.